Alright guys, it's time to do another game preview, and this time it's yet again the Habs and the Leafs. Yeah! It's about to take place again tonight. So if you're new around here, grab yourselves a beer and park that ass on a chair. As we're about to take a look at the last time these two teams met, yeah, all the way back to Thursday. We'll take a look at the updated standings, the projected lineups for tonight's game, and of course, take a look at the player statistics of each team to see which players are most likely to kick some ass up in here. But first, if you're a fan of these kind of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy if you guys decided to tag along for the ride. And if you want to get in on some of the action down there in the old comment section, take a stab at predicting the score and if you get it right, I will pin your comment to the top and give you guys a shout out in the game review for this one tomorrow. Now, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the last time these two teams met, which was uh, something I personally, you know, was trying to forget, but in spite of PTSD traumatic flashbacks, hey, I'll talk a little bit about it. So, uh, the Leafs, they kind of spanked the Habs hard, especially in the first period of that last game, we saw a young Caden Primo get chased from the net after just 20 minutes of play. But you know, shit happens. It's time to move on, and let's focus on tonight. Yeah! Cause it's Saturday night, and it's the Habs and the Leafs, both teams who will definitely know each other pretty well in a few weeks time as hey it's looking like they're definitely going to be playing each other in the playoffs this postseason unless something crazy happens you know taking a look at the standings here and you can see that uh things are pretty close to being set in stone here it looks like the first round of the northern division is going to consist of a Habs and Leafs matchup and the other series will be between the Oilers and the Jets and hey I think it's going to be great now let's take a look at the projected lines for tonight's game and let's start things off by taking a look at the Habs lines. They did lose Feldeno in the last game against the Leafs and apparently he's had this nagging injury for a while now and will probably be a game time decision for this match tonight. So if he plays he'll probably be centering Thomas Tatar and who knows maybe Caulfield again but you never know with Dominique Ducharme. The second line is probably going to remain intact here as we have Nick Suzuki centering Tyler Toffoli and Joel Armia and this has been our best line over the past couple of weeks. The third line, as it stands right here, is Jesperi Kotkaniemi between Arturi Lekkonen and Josh Anderson, and the fourth line is Jake Evans between Eric Stahl and Corey Perry. Moving on to the defense pairings, and the first unit is Joel Edmondson, who is paired with Jeff Petrie. The second unit is Brett Kulak and Ben Sherratt, and the third pairing is Alexander Romanov and Jan the Bomb Mural. And one thing I will say, it's time to get nasty, okay? These guys gotta start playing some nasty hockey, not just the defense, the offense too. If they want to even get a sniff at winning these big games against the Leafs, they gotta finish every chick possible. They gotta get active after the whistle. They gotta try and make life miserable for them. And we didn't see any of that over the last couple of games, so let's see what happens tonight. Maybe considering they're playing each other so much, maybe tempers will begin to flare. <laughs> now let's take a look at the Leafs projected lineup, and these were the lines that were used in practice as of yesterday, we had Austin Matthews centering Joel Thornton and Mitch Marner for the first line. The second line consists of John Tavares, who centers Alex Galchenyuk and William Nylander. And hey, Alex Galchenyuk, ex-Hab, and he played great on Thursday night against the Habs. He scored like 16 seconds in. Yeah, it was a little flutter backhand, but hey, he got the job done. The third line consists of Alex Kerfoot, Pierre Ingval, and Ilya Mikheyev. And the fourth line is Adam Broke centering Wayne Simmons and Jason Spezza. Moving on to the defense pairings, we've got Morgan Riley and TJ Brody as the first unit. The second unit is Muzzin and Hall, and the third unit is Hutton and Dermott. Yeah, pretty deep lineup these Leafs have. And think about it, that's without Felino, Hyman, Nash. Woohoo! It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. 
Okay, now it's time to take a look at the player statistics here. And yeah, there's not a lot that has changed, at least from the Habs perspective, but hey, let's do it. Leading the way in points for the Habs is Tyler Toffoli. He's got 43 points in 50 games and 28 goals, and I'd really like to see him hit 30. So Tyler, let's get it done. In second place, we've got Jeff Petrie, who's got 41 points in 53 games, followed by Nick Suzuki, who now has 38 points in 53 games. And and Thomas Tatar is fourth. He's got 30 points in 47 games. He did miss quite a bit of time over the last couple of weeks, and he just got back in the lineup last game against the Leafs, and I uh, barely noticed him. So, let's hope I notice him tonight. Moving on, let's take a look at the Leafs player statistics, and at the very top is Mitch Marner. He's got 66 points in 53 games, and he scored a goal in the last game against the Habs that was absolutely crazy. <laughs> Mr. Dangles himself. Then at number two on this team, we've got Austin Matthews, who now has 40 goals, 24 assists, giving him 64 points in 49 games. In third place, we've got John Tavares with 48 points in 53 games. And in fourth place, we've got William Nylander with 40 points in 48 games. Anyway, guys, that does it for this game preview. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out of here and try and predict the score. It doesn't matter whether you're a Habs fan or a Leafs fan. I don't even care if you're a Bruins fan. Get in on the fun. Get in on it. And I'll see you next time.